Oops, I didn't do that. Did I do that? Yes. Um, Oops. To today's webinar. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we'll be presenting Build Your Business with Seniors and Investors with Your Maps Coach, Danny Hara. Please note this webinar is being recorded and you'll automatically receive the webinar recording. If you have questions for your coach, please type them into the questions box located in your webinar taskbar. Following the webinar, if you have any questions about today's call or coaching program, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. All right, that's all for me. Go ahead and take it away, Dan. Aloha. Good morning, everybody. My name is Dan Ihara. And I'm Julie Ihara. Today, you're uh, blessed to have my wife here. Kent Leong is normally my business partner that's uh, here on this uh, call, and he's on, a bit, he's on a family trip. So today we have the two of us. And so let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about building your business with seniors and investors. So a little bit of background. Um, we've started in real estate 14 years ago, and we have a large team. Uh, we uh, produced about $84 million uh, last year. Uh, we're probably on track for about the same this year, maybe a little bit more. I, I've been part of Gary Keller's private mastermind group since we started here at Keller Williams about five years ago. Very blessed to be uh, around Gary and have him as a mentor, but also to be connected with the top minds in real estate. I'm a MAPS coach. Uh, we, I'm a mastery coach as well as a group coach. Uh, we have built a large business in for the last 14 years that I've been in business, actually it's 12 times, uh, we've been in the Hall of Fame for the top 100 realtors, the 7,500 realtors in the state. Um, what was really cool was uh, we grew really fast since being part of Keller Williams and for two years in a row consecutively, we were ranked in the fastest 50 businesses of any kind in our market in Hawaii in the entire state. So we've been very blessed with the uh, continued growth. Uh, I'm an investor at uh, Keller Williams Honolulu and Keller Williams on Maui. So if you need help in any of those areas, uh, please let us know. We can definitely support you in those uh, areas. Uh, we uh, built this thing called the Complete Solution and we actually trademarked it for the United States. And uh, really what that is, is it's a family of companies. We we have not only the uh, real estate side, the HAR team, where we help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate, but we also started a property management firm called High Property Management. Uh, we started a senior move managers company. We'll talk more about that uh, later today and in, in our classes because it's a huge lead generator for us. Uh, we started Declutter Hawaii, uh, Stage Hawaii, we have a staging company, and a nonprofit called Silver Spoons. You know, one of Gary's uh, missions is really, remember if you look at the triangle, it's think a million, earn a million, net a million, and then give a million. And he challenged all of us to have a, a nonprofit so we can give back to what um, we can contribute to society. And so we've done that. We Silver Spoons is our nonprofit where we help older adults who cannot help themselves. And, uh, and then we built Ihara Training and Development, which is doing business as the complete solution. Okay, so Dan, could you share a little bit about our history of our team and our journey? Uh, what you're looking at here is our production volume, closed volume from when uh, Dan started in real estate in 2005, and then I started in 2006. So Dan, can you explain some of the highlights and um, the journey? Yeah, when I started in real estate as a single agent, uh, I worked really hard, did fairly well in my first year. These are in millions. Um, and uh, after my first year, I got so busy that I asked Julie to join me and then you saw the continued growth and increase in our business. Uh, but in the beginning, we started with these seminars called Senior Living Options. And we're going to talk a lot about that today, as well as in our course. Um, then we started building in 2010, we built other seminars called 1031 Exchange Seminars. Because <clears throat> we found that the seniors also had investment properties and weren't sure how to uh, sell it without paying capital gains taxes. We became the, uh, the expert in the 1031 exchange market here in our market. Uh, and then we built investment seminars a few years later uh, because we were buying and flipping properties and buying and holding properties, helping people understand how to build wealth through their real estate. And then we joined Keller Williams and we kind of took off after that when we finally learned systems, models, and tools that 
could help us uh, grow and scale our business. Um, this year, we're, we're uh, on target to, to hit the similar goal as we did last year. Uh, actually, our goal is 100 million. I think we're gonna be a little shy on that this year um, due to the shift, though I think we're, we're poised to take a larger percentage of the market. I'm not sure if you've experienced a shift in your market. It's definitely hit us. Uh, we've had the uh, about a 25% reduction in sales in our market than it was previous year. And our business should stay the same and maybe grow just a little bit. One of the things to point out also on this is when we started in the business, we were just entering a shift um, and we didn't even realize it. it. It looks, our graph looks pretty flat in those 2006, 2007 to 2010. Um, however, that was in a, in a shift market as well. And we still grew, we just didn't grow much. Right. right. Yeah. right. Okay, so Dan, tell us about um, what will be covered in the group coaching classes. So um, we're going to start one. These are each uh, four different weeks that we're going to be uh, presenting. Uh, we're going to start with the market overview and the opportunity with the senior market. Uh, then we're going to talk about senior living options in the second week. The third week we'll talk about managing real estate assets, and the fourth week we'll be really securing listings in the senior market. Today, we're going to give you a synopsis of all of that uh, four weeks and four hours in just the next uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, so we're looking right now at what the um, opportunity is with the senior market. So, Dan, can you explain this a little bit more to us? Yeah, so this is a little dated. You know, it's 2015, uh, I think it was 2015 census, yeah, uh, end of 2015. Well, when we looked at, you know, Gary says, uh, we're looking for leads for listings, right? And so when we looked at the, the demographics of our country, uh, you know, when you look at the Gen X and the millennials, that's a large population, right? And even that Gen, um, Gen Z, millennials and Gen X, it's a very large population. But those are typically gonna be the buyers, right? Very few of those, maybe the Gen X will be selling, but not the larger assets, right? Where are your listings going to come from uh, that have greater equity uh, and uh, not concerned about the shift? And that's going to be in the baby boomers, the silent generation, and the greatest generation. When you, know, when you look at that, Julie, I mean, that's over 100 million people that are going to be selling their homes um, in, in the next few years. And it's not because the market's going up, because the market probably won't, right, uh, in many markets. Uh, but they're going to be selling because of a need and a change of life. And so that's what we've found over the last uh, 14 years we've been in business. That's been our focus, the baby boomers and up. Because now, uh, and even over the last 14 years, you know, those baby boomers got older even we did, right? <laughs> Remember when we, were, we yes. started this, we were young, <laughs> right? But now we're not so young. <laughs> um, uh, I'm 55 and Julie's a, actually you're uh, 55 too now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're the same age, oh, for a few months. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. But these are the folks that like, we're gonna have all of our friends at our age in the 50s and 60s, their kids are leaving school, leaving home to go to college and may not come back and then they're starting to downsize, right? right? So that's a huge population. And that's where we're seeing a lot of the change and lifestyle. And that's why we're getting a lot of listings because of a change of lifestyle. Not so much that the market's doing so great. Right? right, exactly. I think that's the point where it doesn't matter what the market is doing. These people need to, to sell because a lifestyle change or they can no longer remain in their home or um, you know the kids are gone and it's not practical. So it's for other reasons other than the economy. Is that right? right? Yeah. Okay. So the next one would be the senior living options and um, really where are they going, right? So what we found is that an older adult uh, has, a, has a change of life, has a change of lifestyle, and they're trying to think of, okay, where do you go? So what is an, a person in that, let's say they're 55, 65, 75, could be even 85 years old, how are they going to process that, right? Are they going to sell if they don't know where to go? No, 
Um, right, right. So we, we have to be the solution. We have to find options and solutions for people because once we do find solutions for people, then they'll make the change. Would you agree? Yeah, so I guess they don't want to move until they know they need they need to move, but they're not going to do anything until they know where they're going to go. Right, right. Okay. So we became the uh, uh, the expert and really a kind of like a boots on the ground placement company for uh, older adults and advocates who have clients who are older that just are saying, hey, what do I do now? My house doesn't fit me anymore, or I, I just I need to find someplace else to go. So where are they going? Well, one area is age restricted properties. You know, age restricted properties are, are like the Dell Webs of the world. Uh, they're 55 and over uh, restricted properties. Um, and those are typically what we call equity properties where you either buy it or rent it. But many of them don't have uh, assisted living services. Some do. Uh, it just depends on uh, the market in your area. Uh, and then a lot of them are just downsizing to a smaller home or condo. And that seems to be the proactive baby boomer, right? Mm -hmm. They could be 55 to 65 years old and the kids are gone and they're not coming home. They live in a three, four, five bedroom home. And now they're saying, man, the yard's too much work and there's just too much going on that I need to downsize and simplify my life, right? So we're helping folks to sell their home and then buy something smaller like a smaller house or a smaller condo, maybe a house with single level. In fact, we're, I just got off a call yesterday with a, a client that has a two-story house. He wants to sell a, a million-dollar house, and he wants to buy a $600,000 smaller house mm. that's single level. Right. That He's going from 2,500 square feet down to 1,000 square feet because he doesn't want to deal with the yard anymore. Right? So, right? so that's a sell and a buy. And if you're able to help people that, through that process, then you become the expert. The other is when, um, you know, where are they going? If they sometimes will move in with children, right? You know, the kids say, hey, you know, mom, why don't you come live with me since dad's passed away? Um, a lot of areas, uh, including ours and in many states, they have these things called ADUs, it's accessory dwelling units where the, the counties and cities are allowing you to build another dwelling on it. Um, and then that's what they're doing. They're, they're building another dwelling for mom in there to move into and stay close enough for their, so that mom can you know, have care and food and, and be close to family. Hey, you know what, the kids benefit too, right? Because they got a built-in babysitter, right? Yes. So everybody wins in those situations. So. <clears throat> Helping them manage and, and strategize through that solution is, is a really good one as well. Some are going to care homes. So if you, uh, once we start understanding what care homes are, where they're located, how to get them there, what their costs are, um, you're gonna be able to provide that solution. We had a guy that just, it was the last month, right? It was last month. Yes. He calls me from his uh, bed that he was in a hospital he came to one of our seminars two years ago and says, I, hey, Dad, I, I need your help. Uh, I need you to sell my house. And like, I don't remember the guy, right? I, right. I don't remember Wayne. And um, so I go to his bed and he says, you know, I need you to clear out my house and sell it. And because I got to pay for my care. Well, the care home was $14,000 a month. Right. And so like we had to do this quickly because he was running out of time. So we went in. We, he had a, a, a hoarder home. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you know what a trail home is. A trail home is a home where there's a trail, not a trailer, right? It's a real home, except there's a trail from the door to the sink, to the toilet, to the bed, back to the door, and everything else has stuff, right? Yes. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, Julie's not that tall, but yeah, that's besides the point. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, right? And, um, uh, we cleared it out in two and a half weeks and then we sold the property. Then what we did is we took him and we said, you know, he said $14,000 is a lot of money. Where can I go? That's cheaper. We found him a care home that was only $4,500. So we saved him $10,000 a month. He's singing our praises to everybody he knows because we helped him through this process. And now the people in his church are now calling us to say, hey, there's some other people that I need you to help. Right. So being that's all in the complete solution, 
uh, will really get you more referral business as well. And retirement communities, we're real big fans of retirement communities. In fact, that's how most of our business has grown uh, because we became the expert on senior living options as it pertains to independent adults who are still of sound mind and body that can move into a re re, uh, retirement community. And the reason why that's good is because the retirement communities uh, are people who are going there because they are uh, making their proactive choice to do that. One, two is they have to have enough money to do it. So you're now targeting a larger uh, demographic of wealthier adults and a lot of their wealth is in their real estate, right? When Gary told us um, in one of our meetings, he said, you know, he drew a circle and he drew another circle outside of that, another circle outside of that, another circle outside of that. So he says, so what's the bullseye? During the shift, what market is gonna be selling their homes, not because the market's doing good, but because maybe the market's not doing good. Who's gonna do that? And then he looked at me and he said, yeah, it, you're right, it, it's seniors. Because these seniors are gonna make a life change, not because of the market, because of how life has shown up in their world and they can't now live in their home. And so now you become the solution to that and you help them figure out where to go, how to get there, and you sell their home that pays for their long-term care. And really that's how we built our business, through relationships with retirement communities, who have then sent us referrals, um, but, but also because we, we became the expert in the senior living options. And um, that's why it's, it's really important to understand that. Okay, so you just started talking about this. So why is it important to know the senior living options? There are other people out there that can give advice or you, you can go and seek, um, you know, and, and go on your own and talk to different retirement communities. Why is it important for, for you to be a senior living option specialist? Well, see, because most older adults, and now when I talk about older, not us, well, we're old, we're not that old. Okay. So more, I'm speaking more of 75 and up, 75, 85, could even be 95 years old and up, right? And these are folks, um, many of them are not, are not on the computer, they're not computer savvy. Um, they uh, are really looking for someone to guide them through this process, right? The seniors, uh, are, are they, some of them don't have cell phones, some of them don't have email. Uh, they're, not, they're looking at newspaper, really. These are the people that are tactile and they're looking at something that's printed. So they're limited to the, the resources and information they have. And that's why if you can be that expert, then they're gonna wanna seek you out. People are gonna call you for advice. Right? Mm -hmm. People are gonna say, hey, I, I see that you do this. Uh, could you come talk to us? And we get that every week. We get people calling us all the time saying, hey, um, I heard you do a lot of this work with seniors. Can you come and share some information with us? Right, so we're solving the problem um, or giving them answers to questions that they may not even know what to ask yet. And we're getting them at the top of the funnel before they've even decided to sell. Right, you know, one of the things that Gary also said is how do you differentiate yourself? You know, in the shift, we're gonna to have to be different from everybody else, right? And what makes you different? Well, what makes you different uh, in our world, is, what makes us different is that we're the consultant for the older adult. We're the consultant for the more specifically wealthy older adult who has assets, they're asset rich, but it could be cash poor. Some are, are cash rich as well, but it's the, it's the older adult that has some wealth and then they have options, right? They, they have the financial ability to do this. They just don't know what to do and where to go. So when we come in and we share their options, we're no longer the sales agent or the realtor that comes here to just say, I want to stick a sign on the ground, sign a listing agreement and sell the house. Right. It's really about, okay, so before you sell, where would you like to go, right? And, and how, um, what would that look like for you? You know, what do you what do you like to do on your off time? You know, what are your hobbies? Where do your family live? And the more we ask those types of questions, sellers will really know that you care, right? And that's really what it boils down to. They say in sales, 70% of people will use somebody if they trust them. Well, trust is built when you build those kinds of relationships that are not just transactional, but more relational. 
And then once you help them find a new home, you really can then secure their listing, right? And then you're gonna get more referral business from their, their network, the older adults, but also from a network of trusted advisors. And that's an area that we're gonna talk about later, but that's a huge area of referral business for us is the, the financial planners, the wills and trust attorneys, mm -hmm. everybody that a wealthy older adult seeks advice from that trusted advisor. So we'll, we'll go talk about more of that later. Okay, so the third week in the group uh, coaching is managing real estate assets. So talk to us a little bit about that. Well, you know, um, seniors have assets, right? They they bought their properties a long time ago and they, they have a lot of equity, right? Mm -hmm. They're not the type of client that just bought it two years ago and wants to upsize or downsize. Most of these older adults have bought it a long time ago. And most of our clients, you know, they might have a million dollar asset, maybe $2 million asset with no equity at all, zero down payment. So, so one of the things I first asked them is, do you have a balance on it? And they all look like, no, <laughs> you know, wait, do the math. Eh? It's a 30 year long. I'm, I bought it when I was 30 and I'm now 70. Okay. Figure the math out. Great. Um, but, yeah. but most of them don't have any balance on it. The other thing that we're finding is we're now having in America, we're seeing the largest transfer of wealth in America today. And the reason for that is all of these baby boomers, their parents are passing away. So the baby boomers who are say uh, 54 to, to six to 70, all those baby boomers, their parents who are in the eighties and nineties, they're passing away and then they have real estate assets that are passed down to their kids. So a lot of our clients are younger, and when I say, say younger, but they're our age. <laughs> but yeah, that's younger. Um, <laughs> that uh, are calling us because they have, they're have they the trustee of their tr mom's trust right. or dad's trust, right? right? I mean, we're going with one uh, tomorrow, the one in I-9 that, right. you know, three siblings, they, they say, yeah, I'm gonna interview agents. And then I say, hey, you know, um, how we differentiate ourselves with a complete solution. The other agents uh, don't have that. And so we secured the listing. So they're inheriting a lot of real estate from their family. Sometimes it's mom and dad, most of the time. Sometimes it's aunties and uncles um, that are passing on because they don't have kids, right? Um, and it's over, and their assets have appreciated over time, over the years. So when they bought it, most of our clients, they bought it in say 25 to $35,000 and now it's a million dollars. It's got a huge appreciation. And they, ha they also could have investment properties. And the investment properties that they have, what's common is the older adult bought it a long time ago. Uh, we have a, a lot of Chinese in our market, right? A lot of Asian that they were really smart with their money, right? And they bought a property uh, early on and they just managed it themselves. And that's how they built their wealth. That's how they sent their kids to college. Right, and so they've built wealth in that real estate. Well, now they're in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and now they, you know, they don't, they don't fix up their place anymore. They don't go anymore. They don't want to manage it anymore. And what we find is they have a good tenant, maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago, right. but they never raised the rent. Right. right. And so as the market appreciated, they just said, you know, that's just such a nice tenant. They're kind of like family. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're just going to keep it at the uh 1990 market sure. price not the 2019 market price so those investments are underperforming and we're able to transfer that sell it and help them buy another property uh that's going to perform at a much higher level mm -hmm. right right and then they're at, they're at the age where they just you know they used to self-manage properties and, and they just don't want to do it anymore yeah yeah they just don't want to do it anymore so that's one of the reasons we started a property management firm. Okay, and so the fourth and final week, uh, coaching will cover secure listings in the senior market. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Well, well the goal in, in this class is to help everyone um, secure more listings in the senior market. This is a market that is going to be shift proof. This is a market that uh, a good number of your listings are going to come from. Now the question is, are we trained and uh, prepared to handle an older adult and their assets, right? Now again, the target is the wealthy older adult who's got assets that 
they uh, don't know what to do with and or their family doesn't know what to do with. Okay, so let's shift gears a little bit and talk about um, the investor space. Okay, so what would your business look like if you dominated in the, in the investor world? So what we found over the years that we've been in real estate is that seniors had a lot of old money wealth in their real estate, meaning they bought it a long time ago, right? They, they worked really hard when they were younger, they saved money, they bought real estate and appreciated over time. So it's not like they just bought it a few years ago, they bought it a long time ago, right? And or it could be where their parents bought it a long time ago and they're just transferring it over to the next generation, right? So um, that's why that, that if you can find these people, you might be able to help them with their listing. You know, most of these investors own more than one property is what we found. When we do 1031 exchange seminars, we often find that, you know, they'll have, you know, obviously a minimum of one. We have many clients that had 10, 12, 15, 16 investment properties, and sometimes they're all over the country, right? So over the last several years, we've been doing 1031 exchanges all over the country, you know, pretty much, um, yeah, I would say in the areas where they went to buy, where their kids were at some point, uh, we sold them in California, Georgia, Texas, Florida, uh, South Carolina, all these different areas, Oregon. Um, we've had clients that said, you know what, I want to do a 1031 exchange, sell this and either bring the assets back home or sell an asset at home and go buy something in another state, right? And our goal is hopefully to, to train people how to do a 1031 so well that we can execute together in a team anywhere in the country, right? The 1031 exchange, what it does is it allows you to, to get more than one deal, right? It's, it's two transactions for one client. So one, it's a lot easier. You're managing the same person, the same mindset. Um, it gets, it, you just have to know how to do a 1031 exchange. So we're going to talk a lot about how that works and the benefit of it. Um, the capital gains taxes are significant uh, if they were to sell an investment property and uh, not uh, do a 1031 exchange. Right. Right. The, the other question I ask when we do a 10, in fact, we're doing them tonight, right? No, no, tomorrow. Um, we have a senior living options tonight. Uh, is the question I ask when we do a 1031 exchange seminar is, uh, could you raise your hand if you've heard of any family fight over real estate? Almost every hand is raised, right? And so we help them through that process. I say to them, what if you could find a way that you could prevent family dispute before mom and dad passes away? Is that something you'd be interested in? And if you are, you want to come to our seminar. And so we've created a model around how do you do that? How do you uh, pre-plan uh, the, the inheritance for their heirs and while mom and dad's alive? And that's a whole class that we talk about. Um, and we have videos on. Um, becoming the resource to financial planners, private bankers, trust companies, CPAs. That's where right now, that's where most of our effort is. Um, we network with these folks because these are the people that uh, older adults go to, they trust, right? What do I do? You know, my house doesn't fit me anymore or I have this investment property that, you know, gosh, I'm tired of getting the phone call on. Um, right. What do I do with this stuff? Those are the folks that you want to network with. Right? And so what we've done over the years is, you know, we've built relationships with them. I, I'm uh, yesterday, I went to a financial planners association. I'm the only realtor that shows up to those things. Right. I sat next to a guy and um, Mike, and he right. said, Hey, Dan, can you come over to my office and help me do a 1031 exchange seminar for, our financial planners. I mean, he's got 30 financial planners. And I said, yeah, absolutely. You know, so we're creating a network of people who are going to, we call them bird dogs, people who are going to send you business, right? And referral business. And it's right, huge. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're doing one for a bank next week. Um, we've done it for trust companies. And we have, a, we have a CPA that sends us at least two transactions a year, just one CPA. And then building a referral network that attracts the wealthy is really what that market is, right? What if you could put a bullseye on people who knew wealthy older adults, right? What if you could do that and you're in a position that you provided a value proposition that was unlike anybody else 
in your market, would you get more listings? Well, the answer is yes, because we're, we're proof okay. that, that works. Right? And then that's how we secure more listings. Mm. Go ahead, do we know we're running out of time here? Yeah. yeah, we're just about running out of time. So um, Yeah, so we have a, a MAPS group coaching class. It starts on Tuesday, June 4th. Uh, it'll be four days, so June 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. Um, they're all at 1 o'clock Central Time, which is uh, 8 o'clock Hawaii time, right? Yes. And uh, it'll be one hour each, and there'll be four weekly sessions. Uh, it's 198. And... Uh, MAPS has sent out to Keller Williams agents how to register, and if you have trouble with that, uh, feel free to reach out to Julie, and she can help. Right, with then I can send you the link. Yeah. Uh, I guess we got Q and A here. We got a few minutes. Um, okay, are there are there any questions that we can help with? Let's see. Uh, and here, oh, you're gonna move that screen up. Hmm. Bart Jones sent something, but we can't hear him. Uh, okay, sorry, user error. I, I'm not good at opening this question. Uh, oh, the box. box. Here we go. Um, does anybody have any questions that we can help with? No questions, huh? Well, I could absolutely. I, I, I see some comments here, so thank you for your comments. Uh, well, yeah, if not, oh, here. wait, no. Okay, here. Uh, so the question is what do you recommend as a first step in working with seniors? I think the first step, if you have never spent a lot of time working with seniors, is better understand um, how to deal with them. Right, so a number of things, they come from a different demographic, as you know, they came from the depression. They, um, they're, they're the type of person that, you know, they'll, they'll make a, a handshake as a transaction to them. It's a commitment, it's a commitment right? They, they believe that what you say matters and they're gonna expect you to do what you say. Um, they walk slower, they can't hear as well, so you have to speak slower. You, uh, you have to be more patient than most. Um, they, their vision isn't as good as is mine. <laughs> uh, their hearing is not as good uh, as is mine. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just a different demographic. And there's a class that we took uh, called Old Like Me, where it makes you get into the world of an older adult where their, their skin is very thin. So they're very cold all the time. So when we're, we're in Hawaii, right? And uh, I'll go, we'll go into homes. Julie and I will go into homes and the house is completely sealed up. One, because they're afraid somebody might enter, but two, because of the weather and they think it's going to be cold. It's just not. Right. We go in there and we're just dripping wet, right? But they're it's 80 fine. degrees and it's hot. <laughs> but they're fine, right? They're fine. Um, so know that those are the types of things. Um, a real tip would be if you're working with an older adult and you're in a room, make sure their back is against where the light's coming from because their eyes are very sensitive. If, if you sit them in a position where they have to look at the sun, they're not going to be able to see and they're going to get very distracted and it's going to wear them down and make them tired. So there's a lot of little things that we've learned over the years of how to deal with seniors and um, uh, Make sure that they know that you care because really, you know what, at the end of the day, for an older adult, all they care about is they, that you care. They don't care how many accolades you have. They don't care how many sales you've done. It's all about, do I trust you? Right? And so that's what you want to do is build on the trust level. Yep. Hopefully that helps. Okay, so we're just out, about out of time. So we want to thank you for joining us this morning. Yep. And any last words, Dan? No, I just say, hey, this is an amazing market. You know, you leave at the end of the day with a client, uh, you get a hug, right? And it's, it's a type of market that people, older adults really are a different market from any other market that we've ever dealt with. And we deal with all markets, but, you know, about 40% of our business is older adults. Right. right. 
So, uh, and it's a shift proof market. So if you wanna thrive in the shift, this is a great way to do it. Um, there's some tips that you'll learn through this that will definitely help you be successful. So uh, hopefully you sign up and we look forward to working with all of you very shortly. Thanks so much and aloha. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.